Alright guys, welcome back, Sir of Scotland TV here for the Hearts versus Kilmarnock preview in the Scottish Premiership this weekend. We lost last week to Celtic, it was disappointing, it was embarrassing, I know most teams lose to Celtic, but we were just played off the park really. Got a late constellation late on for Isma Concalves, but apart from that man, we done an absolute shite and Craig Gordon sort of saved it, so... Now let's stop talking about the goal we scored and let's start talking about the 10 goals hopefully we're going to score at Rugby Park tomorrow. Uh, in terms of the new manager, there's been lots of talk of Steve McLaren. I fucking hope not. Um, would he be an improvement on Cathro? Probably, but it's like... Uh, it's like... I don't know, man. It's not good. It's like someone saying... I'm going to throw a pile of shite in your face and then they say, well, no, no, I'm, I'm not going to throw a pile of shite in your face. I'm just going to, like, you know, throw a pile of fucking something that's, you know, like a pile of piss or something. You know, you know the point I'm getting at? Like, I mean, it's not as bad as Cafro, but it's it's no great. Like, it's definitely not great. And, I mean, I suppose he'd maybe be better. Is he better than John Daly? Well, he's got experience, but... I mean, I'm, I'm looking at Steve McLaren, and he's a big name, and it's good that we're being linked with big names, but he's a big name for all the wrong reasons. You have to remember, this is a guy that didn't qualify with, not in my opinion, but if you listen to the English media, arguably their best ever team. They talk about the 2007-2008 era with Gerard Lampard, goals, Beckham. Well, uh, McLaren had that team, and he failed to qualify for the Euros, so fuck me, he can't be that good. He's been... He got he more or less took Newcastle down. I know they fired him, but let's be honest, he he got them relegated, not Rafa Benitez. And so, I don't know, guys, man. Is he really the man we want in charge? Probably not. Anyway, as for the game, we're coming off, a, like I said, coming off a four-one defeat there. I think Kamarnik are also coming off a two-one loss as well. So, it's very possible whoever loses this game could be bottom of the Premier League after two weeks. I certainly don't want that to be the case. So I'm hoping that we can at least get a draw out of this, but. Obviously, we'd prefer the win. I don't know why we're waiting so long on introducing a new manager. I just don't understand it. And uh, due to that reason, I just can't be too positive about this result. I'd love to say that we're going to win. If, if last year, under uh, Paul Hartley, had a, no, not Paul Hartley, uh, Robbie Nielsen had a come out and straight away and said, yeah, we're going to win. I'd have total confidence. But at the moment, I just don't have that. And until we name a manager, I don't think I will. But I just wish they'd do it sooner rather than later. So for this game, I'm assuming Big John Daly is going to take charge again and I just don't expect much. Um, getting rid of players left, right and centre, we're not really bringing anybody in. Sad because I see Aberdeen signing a striker like Stevie May and I would have loved to have got Stevie May for 300k. Like, I think that's a complete bargain. Um, we've just sold Connor Salmon to uh, Partick Thistle as well, so we're not going to have him. Just Kyle Lafferty, I mean, it's all right, he is, a, he's a decent name, I mean, he's, he's, he's big Kyle Lafferty, he's played for Angels, but at the end of the day, he's fucking shite. He scored a couple of goals for Northern Ireland against pish teams like San Marino, but what did he do against that Celtic game? Absolutely nothing, just dove a bit on the ground and got a yellow card and then substituted, so I don't have a lot of faith here, man. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that we'll get a win. I'm going to go with a 1-1 draw. I hope I'm wrong, I'm hope, I hope I'm wrong because I want to win, and... I think we need a win, but I'm going to go 1-1, guys. I think it's going to be, come on, out, one hearts, one.